Okay, folks, so today, um, what we need is, uh, make sure you're in the correct playground. Today we're doing Shape Tracer, so just go down until you get the Shape Tracer. And one trick is, I'll show you right here, uh, I can't get it to go back, but, um, I don't remember where the robot starts, but what you want to do is click this thing right here, this button, and then click the one you're going to start on. So today you're drawing these two, G and H right here, G and H. So we're going to click G. And notice it starts around the corner. And the next time you can click H and it starts here. So that makes it a lot easier. So uh, let's go G and it's going to start here. And obviously we're just going to drive upward. So uh, to drive upward, um, we can come over here. And by the way, I found out how to expand this just a little bit. If you click this right here, it's real small. If you click expand, it does get a little bit bigger. So it does help a little bit on my end anyway. Um, so, you know, just go to drive train and, and drive forward. And uh, if you can see, there's little grids here, and I can't count them right there with my eye because my eyes aren't good. If I have my glasses on, I might be able to count them. But um, the first thing you want to do is probably just test out and see how far uh, 200, millile 200 millimeters is. Is that too far? Let's see again. I think it's too far, but I'm not sure. We'll just see. Because uh, I think if I turn right now and then go forward, let's try that. Okay, so we're supposed to trace it. So let's see if it works. So uh, you guys remember how to get the pen. We're going to go over to uh, looks. I think it is print clear. Uh, they're purple right now, so let's just use a different color, set print to black, um, and you can choose something else like red or green or something like that, as long as it's different than what you see there. And move uh, bot pen down, and let's just see if we're actually on the line. It looks like I missed it. Do you guys notice that? I got this one perfect, well, because it put me there, right? But I made that right turn a little too late. Uh, so when I go here, um, I went up too far. So let's try 190. And let's just see if that works. Refresh, play. Perfect. So what you're going to have to do is play with it, just like I did. And then go, okay, drive forward. So I, imag I imagine that if you're going to be driving forward, excuse my alarm, but... um. Uh, you're going to drive forward 190, then I made a right, then I went forward, and I imagine it's 190 again, if it was 190 before. And then you're going to turn a left, of course. Uh, turn left 90 degrees. And let's just see how that works. Okay, um, I, this looks like it's going to work. Let me just try this, 190. And let's refresh and play. Looks like I got this down pat. Okay, so um, you get the gist of this one. I want to see a, a screenshot of this one turned in, but also a screenshot of this one. This one is going to be less work as far as like lines of code here or blocks of code. Uh, but um, you're going to have to get that angle right, okay? So I want to see that angle right. So when you go up here, you're going to make a right, not 90 degrees. 90 degrees will make you go this way. You need to go more than 90 degrees. So, you know, try, you know, 110, 120, 130, 140. Who knows? Uh, not 180. Obviously, 180 will turn you right back to where you came from. That's too much. 90 is too little. So it's somewhere between 90 and 180. And get those angles right, and then you'll be good to go. Okay? So that's pretty much all there is to do. Um, you'll turn them into Google Classroom, and you're just doing these two shapes here for me.